This is a divine revelation I got from the Lord on the 31st of August 2024. It is about the spiritual implications of using sex toys. This is a topic a lot of people don't want to address. Many preachers don't even want to mention this thing with their mouth. But the truth is that a lot of people are struggling in the world. Ignorance is leading a lot of people to destruction and different kinds of spiritual bondages. God is revealing these things so that his children can be wise, so that they can know how to stay away from trouble. Some of the things we call freedom don't actually bring freedom, but they bring slavery and different kinds of troubles. There are implications. Let's go straight into the message so that we don't waste time. But before we go into the message, please subscribe to this channel, Biblical Sexual Purity. Also like and comment. Please share this video with other people. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me read the message. There are many things the devil is using to trick the children of men. Many have been enclosed in different satanic webs because of their involvement in sexual activities that are against nature. Do you not know that whatsoever that is against the will of God can be easily weaponized against mankind? Do you know why many people who have no medical challenge yet they cannot have children? When they have sex, with an object that has no life. It can be used against them. An object cannot produce life because it has no life. The Lord said to me, tell these people whose ears have been deafened by their own hardness of heart that their enemy is using the very thing. They think they have freedom to use to give themselves pleasure against them. Sex toys have destroyed a lot of people's lives. Who will be happy that what belongs to his son is given to a lifeless object? Or who will be happy that what belongs to his daughter is given to plastic prostitutes? I, the Lord, I hate all forms of sexual immorality. All those who give themselves over to uncleanness shall be oppressed by the dark powers that possess the objects they use. Then he said to me, My son, tell my kind that there is no sex object in this world that is not possessed. That means there is no sex object that demons have not possessed. All of them are objects belonging to the devil and his agents. Tell them that there is nothing that hinders demonic entities from laying their hands on the sex toys. Most of the companies that produce sex toys in the world belong to people who are deeply involved in different kingdoms of darkness. These companies are not just set up to make money, but to pollute humanity and to initiate as many as possible into the kingdom of darkness. Some of the children that are possessed before they are born, we are initiated through the use of sex toys. Many sex toys represent the private parts of different demons. Using such sex toys gives the demons whose private parts the sex toys represent access to your life, including making love with you in the dream. Let me explain this. An object can be manipulated in the spirit world to represent another thing. An object can be dedicated to a demon or to an entity in the spirit world. And whenever that object is used, 
a link or an attachment or a covenant could be created with the demon it represents. Let me tell you something. There was a day I was doing a research that was, I think, around 2015. I was doing a research and I downloaded a lot of books. I think that was a period I was listening to Ante Laver, uh, the founder of the uh, Lavean Satanism, the one who wrote uh, the Satanic Bible. So I was downloading some books and doing research. After I finished downloading, I went to bed. I remember my brother was in the house that day in worry. As I was about sleeping, I sensed the presence of demons. Then the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, one of the books you downloaded is possessed. It's a book belonging to the kingdom of darkness. It belongs to the kingdom of darkness. That book is possessed. So I went to my computer. I downloaded a lot of PDFs, but he showed me one particular one. He said, this one is possessed. Delete this one. So I deleted it and I cleared it from my recycling bin. There are lots of things that are possessed in this world. Some things can represent demons too and different kind of covenants. For instance, there are rings, talisman that people wear in their fingers that represent a lot of things. It's just a ring, but so long as you wear it, it could be with some enchantments or without any enchantment, a covenant can be created. We know how in real life codes can be written. And by the time you put that code in the appropriate machine, it will be interpreted. You could see that it's just an ordinary code in plain sight, but it is representing something. That is how a lot of people get initiated when you use a sex toy that represents the sex organ of a demon, then you could get initiated instantly. And this demon could have a direct access to your dream and even to your life and start manipulating you. Because sex is created, is designed in a way that whosoever person you sleep with, you become one flesh with that person. The Lord told me some time ago that you cannot hide your secret, I mean your spiritual information, from the one you sleep with. If that person is demonic, they can access your spiritual information. This is why sex is very, very powerful. When people use sex toys and they represent the sex organ of a demonic entity, you are equally having a sexual relationship with whatsoever thing that that sex toy represents. And many of these sex toys are produced by, you know definitely that no Christian will set up a company to produce sex toys. They are produced by people who want to destroy this world. Let me let you know, there are some entities who are living in this world. They have human flesh, human form, they talk like human beings, some have earthly parents, some don't have earthly parents. They are in this world doing businesses. And some of you are patronizing their products. Let's be careful. We live in a world that is a battle earth. This is a world that the devil is trying as much as he can to take as many as possible to the everlasting lake of fire. Let's continue. Parents, guide your children and tell them about the dangers of using these objects that have been possessed by demons. Apart from the natural addictive consequences, most sex toys have been possessed with demonic powers to create insatiable appetite for sex. 
This is to enslave their victims and cause them to be slaves to sex, powerless to resist sexual temptations and to never be satisfied. Any object that is used as sex toy is defied and it attracts demons. Those who do not buy sex toys that are manufactured in the factory yet use other things to satisfy themselves are not free from danger. Demons roam the earth. Whenever they locate any object that is used as a sex toy, they possess it. All those who have sex toys in their homes yet are binding demons in prayer are deceiving themselves. Get rid of the devil's property first before you pray such prayers. Through the use of sex toys, demons gain access to your sex fluid. All those who call themselves children of God yet partake in activities that put them in bondage, hear this. God has not called you into imprisonment, but to freedom. Hear the word of God, obey it, and continue to follow him. This is the only way to freedom. A lot of people think that they are free to do whatsoever thing they want, whatsoever thing they like with their bodies, but this is not true. Please share this video with other people. If you masturbate and you use sex toys, whether you are married or not, you bring sex toys into your sex life. I tell you the truth, you are opening multiple doors for the devil to come in. I visited a Nigerian local market, I mean an online market. I think I was reading or maybe I was doing some studying and then I told myself, I said, let me even go online and see if people patronize these things over here. So I went online and I saw reviews on Jumia. People who bought these sex toys and they are writing reviews. I was reading their reviews and weeping in me. I was weeping inside of me. People have gotten lost. This is not freedom. This is slavery. A lot of them, after using these things, they become insatiable in their sex life. Nobody can satisfy them anymore. So what will they do? Even when they are married, they go outside to satisfy themselves. Don't open demonic doors into your life. Please stay within the boundary of the designer of sex. God created sex. God instituted marriage. Please stay within his plans. Obey his word and you will be free. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Please share this video with others. Bye-bye.